Hi, in this video I will show how to convert Excel file to quick and QIF format. Um, Excel file, uh, it's like all the Excel has this XLS extension and uh, we're gonna convert this XLS file to QIF. And uh, now here is uh, my website, I will leave link on this website in the description. In order to do, to convert this file, I, I will download from this site and install app for converting um, files and then we'll show you how to convert it. Um, to find app I can type in search uh, to QIF and here it is um, XLS to QIF. I'll click on it, double click on the load button to start downloading process and wait until file will be downloaded. So uh, it will download archive with an app on my local computer. Then I will click on archive, open it, and inside will be installation file. I'll just click on install, uh, and then install this file on my computer. So I'll click on download it, uh, archive, double click on the website to start installation, click on more info. I'm getting this screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just click run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click on finish to close it. Now I have a new short, new app on my computer. I can show it to you. I can close this and minimize this. And here it is, XLS to QAF. I'll double click on it. And conversion is like three steps process. On first step, um, this is second app I installed before just for testing, so this is why you see it. But the app we are looking at is this one, Q XLS to QIF. So uh, conversion is like three steps process. It's open on step one. On step one, I have to select uh, Excel file. I'll click here to select input file, and then. I will click on my bank data. Let me show it to you. So my bank data is just this Excel file and it contains uh, bank information. It's a test data. So it contains first row is the uh, name of the columns. Usually in Excel file, in Excel tables, this is what it is. First row is a uh, column name. So date, amount, status, number, P, memo, and category. Right, and I want all this data to be QAF so I can import it to Quicken format, to Quicken app, and it called sample bank, bank transaction, and yeah, so I'll close it because, like, it's important to close Excel file when converting it because Excel blocks files and is not allowing to any application to work with it until you open it into Excel. This is how Microsoft do it. So we will just close Excel file and select this my bank data here, click on open. So I can show you what I did. I click on select input file, click on my bank date, and then I have this file selected here. Now I can select multiple files as soon as they have the same table in it, because this is important on next step. I click on next step here. We have to ha map data uh, columns from my file. When I click here, I see columns from my file. I remember first row and map it to QIF columns. So here is QIF columns on the left, and here will be a columns from my Excel file. You may have different Excel, different table in it. And the point is you have to tell the app which uh, your column will be corresponding to QAF column. Like here, date is date, amount column is amount, status, clear status, number, number, PE, here is PE memo column, and category column is category. I, this is like, I can have in my Excel file, I can have different like column. For example, PE is like um, name of sender or something like this. And it still be, still be okay because here I'm telling uh, conversion converter which field use for which QIF information. So click on next step and next step I'll just click on run to start conversion. 
Here I have to specify name and location of my QAF file. Um, say this XLS to QAF is name and location is OK. I'll just click Save and file has been saved. Now, I don't have installed QAF on my computer, but I have a um, QAF viewer. It's another app I have built and I can open, double click on open it. I will leave a link on this uh, tool and you can see that everything is converted into QAF and it opens. It's a free app. I will leave a link on this app too on the viewer. And also it can export into different format like Excel Word, web page, uh, anything and just or just show QAF file. So as I said, um, I don't have Quicken here installed, but here it is file installed. We can I can open it into Notepad actually and show it to you. So if I open with Notepad and here you go, you will see this weird QAF format data in it. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, if you have any questions regarding app, um, please leave them in comments. And thank you.